everyone. Good morning, everyone. We can do better. I know there's less people, but we can do better than that. Oh, it's summer and everything. I see less of you guys, but let's make sure to make up for the everyone who's not here today. All right, let's get ready to worship. On the count of three, we're going to get ready and come to the front, okay? And the count of one, and the two, and the three, and the jump. And the, the, no, 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 you guys in the front. You guys are praise team. Praise team. Oh, wait, no, she's not praise team. Okay, we'll do it again. Do it, do it again. Count of three, and the count of one, and the two, and the three, and a jump! Okay, let's everyone come to the front to, so that you don't actually poke each other's eyes out when we worship. All right. Okay, who came to the BBS yesterday and the day before? Who, actually no, this is a better question. Who didn't come to the BBS last, <gasps> wait, didn't come? Oh no. Okay, well second song is from BBS songs. I'll make sure to teach you guys before we get it started. All right, 그러면은 첫 번째 노래 먼저 주시겠어요? <목소리도> 소리 좀만 올려주세요. You made everything for your glory all the earth sings your praises everyone everything we're created for God's glory all the little things all the little things that we do oh I've done this when we say this no you're taking out God out of the picture God has given you all the talents and all the knowledge all the people around you so that his glory can be shown okay for the next song is a BBS song now who hasn't come to the BBS who didn't come didn't did not come didn't come Okay, well, then, here, there's only a couple of moves you need to know. Okay, this is how it goes. Our God, this is our God. Our God, come on, let's see everyone do it. Our God, our God, our God, come on, guys. Our God is an awesome God. Okay, we'll do it again. Awesome God. He reigns. Reign means that he rules over, like a king. That's why you do a crown. Uh, but, okay, yeah. can, you, can, can you get the lyrics up there? He reigns from heaven. Heaven is up there. 
heaven above and your hand turns into fingers because with wisdom wisdom and power you're like you're strong uh, very strong uh, yeah i see that yeah very strong and love we go back to our god is an awesome god that's all you need to know all right let me just help everyone our god is an what kind of god awesome god he is a awesome god he gives us wisdom the power and the love
Day. Thank you for letting us gather here today to worship you. Thank you for an amazing VBS and to the food you provided for us. Please help those who are in, in need and those who are sick, those who did not make it today. Please help us keep your words in our hearts as we worship today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Paul became a Christian a few years after Jesus died and rose again. He joined the early church and traveled around sharing the gospel with others. Paul often wrote letters to churches when he was away from them. In his letter to the church at Colossae, Paul explained how people should live as followers of Jesus. As you receive Jesus Christ as Lord, continue to live in him, Paul wrote. Build your life on him. Be strong in your faith and always be thankful. Paul told the believers to be careful about who they listen to. Sometimes the words of the world sound good and right, but they are not based on God's truth. Jesus died to set us free from the ways of the world. Paul wrote, think about godly things, not earthly things. When you trusted in Jesus, you died with him. Now you live in him. So turn away from the ways of the world. Put away anger, wrath, hatred, lies, and filthy language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another. You used to live this way, but Jesus has given you a new life. Paul said that God is making us more like Jesus. In this new life, no one is more important than anyone else. We all belong to Jesus. Paul wrote, you are God's chosen one, holy and dearly loved. Put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another and forgive one another because the Lord has forgiven you. Above all, put on love. Let the peace of Jesus rule your hearts and be thankful. Paul encouraged believers to remember Jesus' teachings and obey them, teaching and encouraging one another. Sing to God with thankfulness in your hearts, Paul wrote. Children, obey your parents because this pleases God. And whatever you do, do everything in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. God changes us when we trust in Jesus. He adopts us into his family and makes us new. Jesus calls us to turn away from our sinful ways and live in a way that honors him. All right. Before we go into the sermon again, let's pray one more time. Everyone, let's pray. 기도하겠습니다. 사랑하는 감사합니다. BBS에 이어서 계속해서 오늘 또 주일을 맞아 또 하나님의 말씀을 듣습니다. 
하나님께서 우리 아이들에게 우리 모두에게 필요한 말씀을 이 시간에 허락하여 주실 줄 믿습니다. 주님 이 말씀을 듣고 더욱더 하나님을 찾을 수 있는 우리 아이들이 될수 있도록 도와주시옵소서. Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here after the three days of VBS. And now again, we come to your house and uh, hear your word, Lord. Please, tell us what we need to hear. And also, let us have an ear to hear your word, Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Good morning. Well, it's still morning. We still have the 20 more minutes <laughs> until noon. So, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, I saw many of you came to VBS and have fun, pray, and also the praising the Lord. And those of you who could not come, I'm so sorry. I wish I could be with you. But yes, next we still have next year. We are ha having these like, every year. So no worry, you got another chance. All right. So today's sermon is about new life in Jesus. New life in Jesus. How about we take a look at the passage? Everyone turn your Bible to Colossians. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Raise your hand if you cannot find where it is, or if you don't have a Bible, raise your hand, and teachers will provide a Bible. We have an extra Bible back there. If you already found one, give me a thumbs up so I can see you already found it. Very nice. Good. Wow, a lot of you. Getting faster, very nice. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Colossians 3장 1절에서 4절 말씀이에요. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, most of you, okay. Alrighty. I'll give you 20 more seconds. This TikTok, time ticking. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three and two and one and one half and one quarter and done. All right, let's read it. I'm gonna read it in Korean first and then in English. 읽겠습니다. 1절입니다. 그러므로 너희가 그리스도와 함께 다시 살리심을 받았으면 위의 것을 찾으라. 거기는 그리스도께서 하나님 우편에 앉아 계시느니라. 위의 것을 생각하고 땅의 것을 생각하지 말라. 이는 너희가 죽었고 너희 생명이 그리스도와 함께 하나님 안에 감추어졌습니다. 우리 생명이신 그리스도께서 나타나실 그때에 너희도 그와 함께 영광 중에 나타나리라. The verse one says, Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is. Seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Amen. So, today's story is about you guys and all those who now receive a new life through Jesus should live in this world. How should we live? And how should what should we seek? What should we follow? What should we looking for from now on? Not like 
talking with your friends. Bust it. Right? But don't. So, this is Colossians. So, this is the letter from Apostle Paul. We learned about the Paul, Apostle Paul last week, right? What was his name before? Before he was meet, uh, met Jesus? Saul. What does he mean? What, what is the name? What is the meaning? Saul means. What does Saul mean? Yes. Huh? Strong, big, right? Then after he met Jesus, his name changed to Paul, which means small or humble, right? Humble means like, 막, 아, 막 자랑하고 이런 게 아니라 겸손한 사람, 겸손한 거. Like, oh, 나, oh, 나 이거 돈 이만큼 있어. 가 아니라, 아, oh, 있어도 나 하나님께 주신 것이고, 그래서 나 자랑하지 않는 거죠. You're not boasting. So, this is a letter from Paul writing to the people of the town called Colossae. 골, 한국말로는 골로세라는 곳에 보낸 편지인 거야. Even though the even though Paul when he was writing this letter, he never been to Colossae before. That yet. But even though he was he never visited yet, but he wa- really wanted, he was passionate to engage with the church in Colossae. And then he got a report from there that says, he got a report that says, there is a fall, there are false teachers causing problems in that church. And many, many of the people in that church got confused and weary. So, he heard this news and then now he's writing this letter and Paul wanted to put an end to the false teaching and remind them remind them who who really Jesus is now those false teachers they are just they are also following the following the bible but what they're doing it's like the snake did to the Eve. They're just twisting a little bit. Twisting the truth. Oh, most of them sounds all right. Oh, and then a little weird at the end. <laughs> That's what they're doing. <laughs> the false teachers. And it, ha- it was happening to them, people in Colossae. But also, how about us? That same thing happens to us here too. So many people know that whoever believes in Christ will receive salvation and will receive a new life by His grace. But because we don't know Jesus well, we only know, oh, He's the one who died on the cross on the the, the regular things. And then because we don't know who truly, who Jesus truly is, that's why when false teachers were teaching the wrong teaching, they got confused, their heart, they shaken, and they even, they lost their faith. But us, and also because of that, Many people, many people, the salvation, the grace doesn't touch their heart. Or even though they believed in and they now have the new life, they still do not know what to do next. They still do not know what is their next step is. And then they're just sitting down. (sighs) Where should I go? Where am I going? So, now God, Jesus, is telling us through the letter of Paul that 
believes in Jesus, whoever received a new life should live in him. And now, through this uh, today's sermon, I want all of us to know and find out what should we seek as the children of God, and what should we, what should we, what should what, what we should not seek as the children of God. So we're gonna fi- figure it out. So first, Bible is telling us about the things that we should not seek. And that is earthly things. 한국말로는 땅의 것이라고 하죠. Earthly things. Earthly things, we can s- also can say the worldly things. 세상적인 것이라고 얘기를 할수 있는 거예요. Before Christ, through Christ, uh, before we receive salvation through Christ, we were slave to sin. And we only th- being thirsty for the worldly things, money, power, desires, temptation, those kind of things. We only being thirsty for, oh, I need this, I need that, I cannot live without it, I cannot live without that. Then what are those worldly things? Looks like a few of you still uh, turn your Bible on. That's good. If you uh, still open your Bible, then uh, I want you to look at verse 8. Verse 8. And it is telling us the things that we should not seek. And that is anger. Rage, malice, slander, filthy language from your lips, lying, not just lying from your mouth, but lying of your action. And all those lies come from your heart. Anger. We so we get angry so much, right? Playing with your brothers, playing with your friends, right? Ah, 아 이거 아니라고. 아 저거 맞다고. 아, 아 이거 줘. 아 싫어. 아. Angry. We got a little bit angry. What about the? Filthy language. When I sometimes walk around during the uh, the Bible study, and I also I hear that that oh some of you that use a uh, not proper language, that a filthy language. Well, I, I would even though there's a joke or even though there's a um you don't mean it, but also that also there is a part of your heart. And it is, I think it is uh, one of the clear ways that you're showing your heart and that you're sinning with your mouth. God is, ta- God is a- uh, Paul is asking us, God is asking us to put that away. Put that away. And we all know the end of those who seek the worldly things. What is their end? Let's answer. What is their end? What is their uh, what is their end for those who seek the worldly things, the th- things uh, that make us sin? What is their end? They all go to hell. They all go to hell. 세상의 것만 찾고 내 욕심, 내 힘, 내 정욕 이런 것만 찾는 사람들은 결국 하나님을 찾지 않고 그런 것만 찾는 사람들은 결국 we end they end up in hell. I think I told you be told you this before or not, but hell is actually originally not for us. It's actually for the the evil things, the Satan. But just as the 
godly people, those who follow God, their physical body is gone, and they go to the kingdom of heaven. Same concept. If keep following the path of Satan, so when their physical body is gone, where they end up to, where Satan is, where does Satan is, that Satan is in hell. That that is why we go to hell too. But there is only one man and God that saves us from the from that deadly path, and that is our Savior Jesus Christ. Do you guys believe that? If you guys believe that, say Amen. Do you guys really believe that Jesus is our Savior? Do you guys really believe that Jesus saved you from the deadly path? Amen. So now the Bible is telling us. Verse 1, since then we, you have been raised with Christ. You, you are now raised with Christ. That means Jesus died for us and then now he is raised. And then whoever is with him. Will also receive the same grace, and then now that person is also raised with Christ. That's one thing. So we need to we, we need to know that we should not seek the worldly things, the things down here, the earthly things. Then, what should we seek? When we are looking for something, what we are looking for, what we are wanting, what we want, what should we want? That is. The things above. Things above. Our God is the one above everything. Above the earthly things. Above all creatures. Sometimes if we think that above things, then we are thinking about the superstitious. superstitious. Oh, there's something oh, that amazing happened, or something that we never thought that happened. Oh, miracle! Oh, we are not asking for those, but now we are asking for the the things above. The Bible tells us where Christ is. Yes, you need me, Keshingo. Where Christ is? Where is He? He's in heaven, different age. Heaven, he's in heaven. He is now sitting down at the right hand of God. Then what should we seek as a children of God? What should we seek? Let's see. Um, you didn't close your Bible yet, right? Oh, most of you. I should remind you that we are going to look. Oh, there are two of you. Very nice. But same chapter. But I want you to open uh, verse twelve. Verse twelve. Now, verse 12 is telling us what should we seek, and that is, clothe yourself with somebody say, somebody read it, compassion and kindness and humility and gentleness and patience. And the next verse, and the next verse, bear with each other. Forgive one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave. And also, the next verse, over all these, what should come? Over all this, it starts with L. It's over all those, love. So we need to think of that. We need to think of, we, not, we need to remind the love of Christ, love of God, love that God has planned, His perfect plan in each of you to save you, to raise you with Christ. And later, when you're off this earth, the land, and when we, then He wants, when He brings you to the kingdom of heaven, then we all praise, praise the Lord, praise. 
That's his love. This is his love that he is keeping you healthy. This is love that he is now bringing you to the uh, to his house. This is the love that he allowed you a great family, great teachers, great church, great pastor. Do you guys agree? <laughs> pastor. That is all his love. You are in his love. So what we need to seek is his love. Not the worldly love. Not the manly love. We sometimes just try to get a love from someone. We try to get some, uh, wants to be encouraged by some materials or the power, authority, attention. But God is now want us to put that away. But he wants us to put on patience, humility, kindness, gentleness, compassion, and above all those, love. So we need to think of that. I think I hope this uh, verse can be the, in the God's encouragement to you. That is verse three. Verse three says, "For you, you got one to Verse three in English, please. For you, okay. For you died, and your life." Is now hidden with with in Christ, with Christ in God, which means our Savior Christ protects you, our Savior Christ provides you, our Savior Christ wants to guide you to the path of life. That is very important, isn't this encouraging? That God is telling you that God, it, God will be with you all the time. Now, this is an encouragement that God, w God will love you till the end. Isn't this so amazing? Yes, isn't this so thankful, right? Yes? So, everyone, I'm going to wrap this up. So, uh, we really want you to remember two things today, from today. God loves you and God has called you as his children. And we are now in Christ. We are now raised in Christ. So for us, we should not seek what? The, the things, the earthly things or the things on earth. Instead, we should seek something. Then we should seek the things, things, Everyone, things above, of heaven or above. So I really want you to live that. And then whenever Satan is trying to tempt you with that anger, rage, or filthy language, I really want you to pray at that time, at that moment, pray to God, fight over, let God win over the temptation. And then also seek the things above. Amen? Amen. Let's pray one more time, everyone. Lord, thank you so much. Each week, not just each week, but every day, we want to know you more and more. And we want to love you more and more, Lord. And through your word, you are now teaching us that we should not, we no, no longer seek the worldly things. But you are telling us that we should seek the something above, that's a kingdom of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord, help us. Send the Holy Spirit so that we can seek the compassion, gentleness, kindness, and above all those, love. Let us have that. So that when you, when, when you talk to us, 
let us truly respond with your love. And also let us truly live out your love in our lives. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Uh, scripture memory. This is our first week of June. So we have a new scripture memory. This is shorter. This is shorter. So I hope everyone to memorize this month. Okay. I Last month c can be an exception, but this, this month. Oh, all right, right, right. And those who came to me uh, personally and memorized, please come to me and I have a little prize for you. All right, yes. Let's read it all together on three. One, two, three. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Where is it from? First Chronicles 16.31a. Man, right. All right. So I want you to remember this, okay? Oh, and please go to the announcement. Announcement, please go to the Please go to announcement. I have a few announcements, so let's go quickly and let me in uh introduce for those have having birthday in June. So whoever is having a birthday in June, please come to the front. And then if your name, even though your name is not on there but if you are uh, if you are having birthday this month please come to the front come on up come on up me oh and we just take him too. Okay, come on, <laughs> come on. The teachers too. Okay. How about we sing happy birthday to them? Okay, on three, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. <laughs> okay, now and oh, uh, in the Bible class, I will go around and then hand out those the cupcakes for those. Oh, uh, having birthday. Okay. And then throw say thank you. And okay, later. Okay. Yes. And the next announcement. Bible reading chart. So keep up well with the Bible reading this month and next month. And then we'll give you the reward. And also if you this is our first week, so you finish the main reading chart, right? So if you finish Please turn in to your teacher. Again, if you don't turn in, then we don't know you did, you, you've done it or not. So please turn your Bible reading chart to your teacher. If you forget it this week, bring it next week. Okay, next week's service, June 12th. Same thing. Come here by 1120. I know many of you planning to go out to uh, travel or uh, Korea or somewhere else, but if you are here, please come and uh, and be here in time, 11:20. And summer retreat. So there's a two slides after. So, so there's a summer retreat for fourth and fifth graders. So it's on June 16th to 18th. It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and it will happen in. JAMA Global Campus. So please um, register. I already sent you the link, but again, I will send, uh, send out the link again for the reminder uh, for the further registration. All right. And then I have one more important announcement. Uh, that is one of one of our dear friends uh, has to go to another state and I am going to uh, introduce her here and then I really want us to have a, a short uh, prayer time for her. So I'm going to introduce Yejin. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on.
this is Yejini. This is a Yejin Park. And um, I, yeah, it was her birthday in June, but I saw her when she was like a very, 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 very little child. And then now she's been grown up and then ready to go to middle school. But also I really wish I could be, uh, I could watch her growing to the college and so on. But, well, God, yeah, the God lead us a better way, the best way for her and her family. And then uh, she is planning to leave to another state. But how about we pray for her, for her blessing, and God to lead her way from now on. So let's pray for her for one minute. Let's pray. Let's pray. 기도합시다. 우리 예진이를 위해서 함께 잠시 기도했으면 좋겠어요. 우리 같이 기도할게요. 하나님 감사합니다. 이 시간 하나님께서 귀한 시간 허락하시고 또 우리에게 사랑하는 하나님의 딸또 예진이를 어, 이 교회 보내주셨는데 또 하나님께서 더 크신 계획이 있으셔서 또 이제 다른 주로 하나님께서 보내십니다. 하나님께서 함께 하시고 또이 하나님의 딸 가운데 함께 하시며 그 길이 인도해 주시고 하나님의 크신 사랑으로 덮어주시며 모든 일 가운데 하나님께 구할 때 하나님께서 답을 주시고 인도할 수줄 믿습니다. I'll pray for you. 하나님 감사합니다. 이 시간 하나님께서 허락하여 주셔서 하나님의 귀한 딸 예진이를 위해서 또 예진이가 떠나기 전에 함께 기도할 수 있는 시간을 허락해 주시면 감사드립니다. 하나님, 하나님께서 이딸 가운데 귀한 계획을 가지셨사운데 하나님께서 그 계획을 실천하시기 위하여서 또 이제 예진이가 또또 또 순종하는 마음으로 또 이제 타 주에 가게 됩니다. 하나님 어디에 있던 간에 함께 해 주시고 축복하여 주시고 또그 가는 길을 인도하여 주시며 모든 것을 하나님께 구할 때 하나님께서 그 기도를 들으시고 인도하여 주실 줄 믿습니다. 하나님께서 함께 하여 주시옵소서 저희가 함께 모아 마음을 모아 하나님께 기도하오니 하나님 저희의 기도를 들어주시옵소서 이 모든 말씀 주 예수님의 이름으로 감사하며 간절히 기도드립니다. 아멘 예진이도 한번 도울 수 있어요. Next month에 한번 도울 수는 있으나 그래도 아, this is an official goodbye. Okay? So 박수 한번 주고 예진이 thank you. Okay, then everyone please stand and let's finish this uh, worship with Lord's Prayer. Every, everyone stand. 모두 다 일어나 주세요. Everyone stand. Not just few, most of them but everyone please. We're still in the service, right? All right, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from the evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Everyone, please sit down. All the fifth graders, please rise and go, to your, uh, go with your teachers. All the fifth graders.